doesn't look too bad dry, you say. It's going to be perfect for trick-or-treaters. It's been 10 years since we've seen a dry Halloween here in Portland, and we are in luck. Beautiful today, but notice the trees. I moved this time lapse. They were swaying a bit this afternoon. We definitely saw some breezy conditions and a beautiful sunset. Check that out around 6:30 this evening. Great conditions. We're still seeing some breezy winds, though. About 16 mile per hour gusts in Washougal, 20 miles per hour up at Crown Point, and 15 miles per hour in Corbett. Calming way down compared to what we were at earlier today. About three miles per hour sustained in Portland, 13 miles per hour out in Tillamook, and still some stronger winds on those peaks of the Cascades. But things are calming down, and we'll see calmer conditions for tomorrow as well. But our weather headlines clear skies overnight, a chilly start to our morning with those clear skies, so be aware of that as you're heading out tomorrow. But sunny skies into the afternoon, dry for trick or treaters. We do start to see increased clouds late Tuesday night into Wednesday with possible drizzle. And then the rain returns with cooler temperatures for Thursday and into Friday. Current uh, forecast highs today, we got to 63 degrees, 64 for McMinnville, 65 for Salem, mid 60s out towards Tillamook. This time of year, we usually only get to about 58, so definitely a warmer day today. 63 out towards Eugene, 54 for Baker City, topping out only in 50 in Bend. But looking at our freeze warning, we do actually have one out towards the Dows as well as Pendleton through about 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Temperatures overnight dropping into the mid 20s to low 30s, so any outdoor vegetation or plants, they could be frozen tonight, so be aware of that. Maybe go pull those in before you head off to bed. But looking at our Doppler radar, we are seeing clear skies across the region, really allowing those temperatures to drop. As we head into late tonight and into tomorrow, mostly clear conditions throughout the day. We really don't see a lot of cloud cover, and we won't see any cloud cover until maybe late Tuesday by 1030, starting to see a few clouds moving in. We start to see patchy drizzle possible. If light rain even is in the forecast, it's going to be out towards Astoria area. We really don't see any steady rain until we hit Thursday, so more clouds in the forecast. But looking at our upper air pattern, so we're bent under this ridge of high pressure, keeping us nice and mild. But as we head into Thursday, we start to see cooler air moving in, and then it moves down even more. That's will be bringing us those cooler temperatures into the upper 40s by the weekend. So here's a look at our temperature trend. Enjoy the 60s. Today, tomorrow, Wednesday, we drop to the upper 50s, low 50s for Thursday, and then upper 40s for the weekend. So definitely cooler. That snow level will also drop to right around the passes or just below it. So for tonight, temperatures in the low 40s, clear skies with those cool temperatures. Tomorrow afternoon, temperatures in the low 60s towards Cannon Beach, 63 degrees for Salem, upper 60s for Bend. And of course, your trick or treat forecast any anytime between 5 o'clock to about 8 o'clock in the evening. It's going to be in the 50s, which is pretty mild for here. Clear skies and then the forecast next seven days. Man, aren't you glad Halloween is not on Saturday? Cold, okay. rain, windy. So enjoy the sunshine one more day tomorrow. That's how it usually is. <laughs> yeah. so I mean, we're used to that. So this is just a treat. It's yeah. a real treat. It's a yeah. treat. Thanks, not a Claire. trick. Thanks. And